ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. We are on the Clinchfield Railroad. This I've been waiting for a long time for this stupid thing to come out. Actually not. I only found out about it like a week ago. So I've been waiting for like 10 minutes for this to come out. Ooh, we've got some frame rate issues going on. See that? We got custom Clinchfield Railroad cars. We got a new... Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. The SD40 engines, I think. Are, there, are the GP40s or SD? I got to look at them closer. I think they're, I think they're SD40s with a uh, six axle. Um, do I get killed if I... No. Huh? Those are some big box cars. Okay, so, uh, and then of course we have the classic F7 diesel, um, which has four axles, and we've got a pair of them here. Now, I wanted to bring this up right away. People have been talking about having an issue with this engine. The brake's not working. What you have to do is you have to go into each engine and set the brakes to cut out, except for the lead engine, which is gonna be cut in, and you're gonna cut in for freight, obviously, because we're doing freight on this route. But if you're having trouble with the brakes not working, you need to go into the other engines that are lashed to it and set them to cut out uh, to fix that issue. So we'll start right with that. Uh, so as an American, I've been waiting for a long time for an American route, a new one. The last one we got was the Oakville. And when I say America, I'm talking about North America. Okay, North American freight is where Train Sim used to be. Uh, and even up until the last version, which is, I think they call it Train Simulator 2021. We'll call it Train Sim Classic, just so you know which one I'm talking about. There are two versions of this game. There's, well, there's like ten versions, but <laughs> we're playing Train Sim World 2. But the legacy version is called Train Sim 2021. We'll call it Train Sim Classic. So for, in Train Sim Classic, we have third-party developers that make all kinds of American, North American routes. We got Canadian routes and I think even a couple of Mexican routes, but a lot of United States routes. We got Cajun Pass, Tehachapi, Marius Pass. Uh, you know, then you also have some of these like Sand Patch. You've got Clinchfield. You've got the uh, North, Norfolk and Southern Coal District. Um, we've got, uh, I, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. I mean, there's like 50 of them. There's a ton. Kicking Horse Pass, um, you know, Tehachapi Loop. <laughs> They're all available on uh, the old version of Trainsim. Well, Dovetail in their infinite wisdom decided that they were going to nix the third-party developers for their Trainsim World series. So we have just what they make. And what Dovetail makes is German passenger routes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's you, you got England, you got Germany, France, Switzerland. Uh, you know, <sighs> yeehaw. As a train buff, I like freight. I don't I don't know many train buffs that are like, yeah, European freights are European passenger service is awesome, dude. Like when you go to mo the model railroad shows <coughs> that used to exist before COVID, you didn't find European passenger route model railroad layouts. They're all freight. They're freight from all over the United States. <laughs> So for whatever reason, this this game developer, and this because they're European, they're only doing you know freight routes. So we have a couple. I don't want to say that there's nothing. We have uh, rehashed in Trains in World Two. We've got San Jose to San Francisco. We've got the Sand Patch route, which is re, you know remastered, which is nice. Uh, they brought in the Oakville subdivision. Um, I think there's a little bit of freight on the New York, um, like the Northeast Corridor route. But mostly it's passenger service. And once again, with San Jose, it's also mostly passenger service. There are some freight services, but most of it's passenger. So we really only have Sand Patch and the Oakville subdivision, which were originally. So this is the third one that we're going to call an actual freight route, the Clinchfield. And I am super excited because I hope that this sells well. If you guys have trained some World 2, please buy this. Even if the clinch field itself is not something you want, please show your support and say, hey, we like the American roots. Because like I said, Dovetail, I don't think they're going to ever open this up to third-party developers. I hope they do, but I don't think they're going to. It doesn't seem like it's been four years and they haven't done that. So I think that they're not. So that means we have to rely on them to give us these American roots. And for whatever reason, they're not doing very many of them. But maybe there's just not interest anymore. I don't know. I think all the Americans, to be honest with you, have either stuck. I know, I know I've got friends at church, older guys that are in their 50s and 60s that are trained some buffs. 
and they're back and they're playing, um, you know, um, the old version, the Train Sim Classic. So they're not playing this version because it doesn't have American freight. All right, so we're going to follow the instructions the here and drive. The, look at this. It's gorgeous. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Why is he an English guy? <laughs> you mean this is where you're going to be spending most of your time. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the brakes on the other engine just to make sure. <laughs> that was an awkward way to go down the ladder. Uh, can we get in here? Do these open? No, they don't. We don't have access to the in inside the engine room. But man, what a, this! I love the model. I love the the wear and tear. Like it's not a new engine, like a new shiny. These are used engines, and I like that. Look at this. Okay, so I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. We'll sit. I'm gonna see if this is in the same place it always is. Nope. Where's the cut in switch? They need some reverb. Wow. You'd hear the echoing all over the place. Still, it's pretty cool. Diesel power. That's our throttle. Wow, that, that'd be awkward for the driver to have to reach out there. We got tran transition. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Series parallel. Parallel shunt. That's as far as it goes, huh? Oh, that's cool. You can hear it in the train room. So I don't know what that does. Transition braking. Hmm. Don't know what that does. There's Oh, there's our train brake. So I'm look, what I'm looking for, I suppose we could go sit in the other engine and learn this. Oh, does that work? <laughs> so we can do our head out. Um, I'm looking for the cut-in safety pedal. Independent brake, signal bell, rotaire valve, freight lap. Okay, passenger, freight lap, freight. Do we lap it? We probably lap it, I would imagine. Huh. I, I don't know. Well, let's go find out. <laughs> People were saying it was the cut-in on the engine, but I don't know. I, f forgive me. I'm not familiar with the F7 operation, what cut-in is on the F7, if that's those freight buttons or whatever. But let's go ahead and follow the tutorial and see what happens. Uh, already, though, I love this. This is great. I played around with the uh, SD40 last night. It's great. We'll do a little video with that, too. Uh, the scenario that I'm running is the first one, and it's been like two hours, and I'm still running it. It's a pretty intense scenario. The fuel pump will need to be closed to allow fuel to reach the locomotive. Okay. Fuel pump. Control and fuel pump. The engine is currently shut down and will need to be started before progressing. Press and hold the engine start button to activate it. Engine run number lights. Ooh, do that. Okay, class light. Sure. Engine run. Generator fuel headlight dim. Oh, they're showing me where it's at. You dummy. The isolation valve is currently in the start position. Use the indicated control. Gotcha. The rotor valve allows the operator to set the brake mode to match the required operation oh, of the locomotive. It started. For the lead locomotive of a long train, oh. use the freight setting. Freight. For the lead locomotive. Oh no! The reverser determines the direction of travel. See, I just interrupted that hint and he was telling us Ugh. I think freight lap is what he was gonna say. So we'll just go with that. Okay, independent brake. The transition lever is used to control the flow of the electrical current to the traction motors, which is set based on the movement the locomotive is currently performing. 
as we are performing switching duties around a yard, we will need to set the control to series parallel shunt. Do this now by using the indicated lever. Okay. The unit selector is used by the engineer to specify how many locomotives are in the current lash up. Use the indicated lever. There we go. The generator field switch will need to be set. Use oh. the indicated switch to activate the generator field. Okay, so we're going to release the brake. For this introduction, we will be performing switching duties and handling the loading of hoppers. You are now ready for service. Using the throttle, apply a small amount of power to get moving. Move a small amount of throttle to get moving. Is that a small amount? It is. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love the, like, the looking, seeing the headlight out there and stuff. That looks awesome. Let's see what that looks like. What a beauty. The horn still sounds a little awkward, but... I like you. <laughs> Alright, so that's where we need to do it. So you need to set the other engines to freight lap and this engine to freight. Or, or vice versa, you know what I mean? Like whichever engine you're going to use to drive, you put them the other ones into lap mode. Which allows this engine to control the brakes. For some reason, ah, never mind. <laughs> there we go. Turn the gauge lights on. Oh, they want us to reach a speed of 10 miles an hour. Okay. Coasting is a method you. Keeping to speed limit is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the handle into the braking range. Sir, yes, sir. Stop at location Potter Cole. Triple track. Hopefully the switches are set. Man, I just love these engines. They look great. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. Thank you for continually putting me in the bushes. <laughs> Actually, those are trees, right? <laughs> Gorgeous. I love it. What do you guys think? I think this is super hot. Oh, yeah, the sounds. This is the sound of my train. I know, I can't help singing. Sorry, I know some of you hate that. But I can't help Go to a different channel if you don't like my singing. And if you don't like my wife, too bad for you. I love my wife. So funny. People are so funny. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> this yard features both manual and automatic switches. The manual switches will need to be set on foot before departing. Climb down now and make sure the switches are set to the correct position. Yes, sir. All right, back into the engine. We're going to... Uh, I guess we go out either door, right? Yep. Oh. My face! This is the sound of We need to pick up some coal. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not, a, <laughs> it's not that kind of engine. The hoppers are in front of us. 
You will need Hoppers. To slowly to safely couple and avoid a potential derailment. You mean the coal cars? I guess they call them coal hoppers, don't they? I'm just being picky. Maybe in England they're called hoppers. <laughs> no, they're called hoppers in America too. Uh, <coughs> Sorry, I've been working at my mom's house all day. I am I'm full of lead poisoning. Every time I go over there, my allergies are bad afterwards because it's pretty bad. It's We're getting there, though. I mean, it is, as you guys know, my mom, well, most of you know, I don't know. Some of my train some people don't know probably because I haven't done train some world in like a year. Uh, my mom sadly did pass away in January. You can hear a real train. Hang on. No, I can't. There's a real train. If you hear the, the whir of a turbo diesel, that's because an engine just went through my backyard. Uh, my mom passed away, sadly, in January. Um, was not the greatest day of my life. Uh, and left me the house, which is cool, but we had to clean the house out. My mom and her parents were pack rats. And so, uh, needless to say, I've been very busy the last couple months getting the house ready for sale. And we are almost there. No. Okay. I didn't want to put it in the emergency. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, don't roll backwards. What did I do? I've screwed something up. The throttle has disengaged. Oh, now you did it. Shoot bags. Okay, so uh, let's figure out what we did. Parallel shunt. Forward. Okay, there we go. It's working now. Forward! Bash your way to glory! Oh, that was a little rough. With the hoppers successfully coupled, your next task is to bring the cut of cars over to the tipple to begin the loading process. The tipple. When loading hoppers, you need to keep to a slow and controlled speed to allow the loader to correctly and safely load the hoppers. Apply a small amount of power to start moving, and then adjust the throttle back to the idle position once you're traveling at no more than three miles per hour. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, I need to figure out what's going on with the brakes because they aren't working. This is what people were talking about. So we're going to climb down here. <laughs> hey, don't park under my tipple. Uh... Eh, I can't get through. Oh, you son of a biscuit. <coughs> Pardon me. Pardon me, s'il vous plaît. Because this is safe. I got about three of those left for the day. All right, let's see. What did I put it on? What did I put the brakes on? Let me in, you fool. No, lap, right? Is that where you... What do you do with this? Do we, are we supposed to put it on lap? Freight lap. Ooh, that's a cool bell. Oh! Brake valve cut in. Cut out. That's what we want. Okay, that was what we needed the whole time. Pay attention to nothing I said earlier, but that was what we needed. We needed to um, cut out. So, oh, not in the seat. 
All right, climb down. And get the... You idiot. Okay, close the door. Nope. Close door. Okay. Let's go ahead and drive this engine underneath the tipple. The coal tipple. I guess it spigot wouldn't be proper terminology, so tipple is the way we're going to go with that. <laughs> Why do I think that's so funny? Because uh, I'm so freaking immature. And what are we on here? Okay, so where's the freight cut in on this one? Cut in. Okay, so let us see now. So we're going to release the brakes. We should start. We should start rolling backwards. Power me up. Oh, we're over. Brakes. Good. Right there. Two point. Uh, it, okay. Good. Okay. Sweet. Use your tipple. Wait. Oh. <laughs> That's not the right tipple. I gotta go to the other tipple. <laughs> it's been a day, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just been one of those days. Why is that funny? Oh, uh, because I'm immature. I'm going to have to give this a mature rating now. Train some of all things. <sighs> Keep your tipple to yourself. Okay, so we're going to go. We're rolling at about 1.5. Yeah, that's good. Two miles an hour right there. You can see on the ticker down on the left there where the 5 and the 10 are. We're there, right about there. Three. There you go. That was the wrong tipple, you dummy. It's funny how these two tipples are different sized. One's smaller than the other. I'm trying to stop. <sighs> All right. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> moving right along. Okay, now we're starting to... Okay, that's why. I was in one. Keep it in one. We want to go about 2.5 miles an hour. I do like driving this engine already. I I like this. It looks really good. It definitely uh, some pretty scenery. I did hear from some people that there are some glitches in the scenery. I didn't see any myself necessarily, but they're saying that there are some places where the scenery is not quite right. And things cut in and cut out like trees with no mountain underneath them, that kind of stuff. I'm sure they'll fix that in a patch. Famous last words. Okay. So the cars are, I guess, getting filled. Oh. I don't honestly see anything happening. I'm, I'm assuming that we're getting coal on these cars, but maybe we've load coal. Star. Am I missing something? Hey, there's Charlie and his engine up there. Okay, the cars look like they're just entering under the coal chute there. So let's see what happens. Hey, buddy. Sweet. One thing that I wish they would put in this game, still to this day they have not, is track IR. Why don't we have track IR in this game? The old version of Train Sim Classic, as we're calling it, has track IR. Why don't we have it in this? <sighs> stupid, stupid, stupid. I don't understand it. It's too hard to implement. 
Yep, there's the star of the show right there. Something you no longer see on American Railroading. Caboose. When I was a kid, you used to see him all the time. Not too fast. I guess this one comes with some kind of new, and I'm not familiar with exactly what it is, so as we go, we'll play with it. Not in this episode, but eventually. There's some kind of new uh, system for the services. Nice job. The hoppers are now loaded. Your final task is to couple this cut of cars to the waiting train. All right, let's put the independent brake on. And look at our list of things to do. We need to look at our map. Okay, where is the train that we're supposed to... Really? We're supposed to just go right there? What are they telling us? Set switch. Oh, to access the main line. So we need to get out. We could do it from the map, but... I mean, heck, we might as well take another gorgeous look at these beautiful engines. Get up. We gotta rise up, get excited. Dream. Oi. All right. You will need to contact the dispatcher before you can leave the yard. Contact the dispatcher and ensure you're given clearance before proceeding. All right. Press the tab key to bring up the dispatch menu. You can't do it while I'm outside of the car. Dispatcher. Proceed at restricted speed. We're going to go head out, turn our seat around. <laughs> A little awkward, but okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and shut this down. Put the reverse around. And start the backing maneuver, which is actually a forward maneuver, but... Now, this is a really long-nosed engine. I did notice people were complaining about clipping. I did notice there are some of these in-yard signal lights that actually do clip into the engines as you go past. I'm like, ooh, we're hitting that. But such is the price that we pay. Look at that. Such a great view. Very unique. We got a dead engine on the lead. <laughs> no lights, no nothing. I think in real life the engineer probably would run it from that front engine. Ah, we just threw the switch when we went over it. It must be spring loaded. Just need some neat, neat stuff. How are we doing? Are we over speed? Nope, we're doing fine. Sweet. <coughs> Whoa. Are we? Oh, 300 yards. Probably should start breaking. One more way over speed. Just a hair. Just a hair. No, not emergency. Service. Crud buckets. I did it again. 
<laughs> Disengage the throttle. Okay, so if you throw the engine into emergency, I got to get used to the brakes. It's not like a modern engine. Once it's in service, that's it. It goes running. First service, lap, service, and then you're in emergency. So that's just how it works. So. I'm not getting any power, though. Do I have to hit the safety switch, maybe? I got zero amps still. What the frick? There we go. Okay, that, that reset it. So, let's try to... So that's it. That's all the braking we have. So something is still not quite right. Okay. What are we supposed to do here? It went through two, two like, freaking... Nope. Get in the engine, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's a look. Okay. <laughs> Brakes are on, right? Once again, just want to double check these. Cut in. Yeah. I wish I would have gotten the note about the freight lap versus regular. Okay. Oh, we don't have to set a switch. Okay. But we can do it by hand. We're just going to double check. They want us to back, which that's all set. And where are we going? We're going. It's already set. We want us to hitch to here. So we're going to. I screwed those up. Okay. And then coming back this way, we're all good that way. Okay. So, wrong button. We're ready to go. Let me just double check. I feel like something's still not working right with the brakes. Doctor, doctor, can't you see I'm breaking, breaking? All right. That's as good as it's going to get. Brakes are rough. Okay, so, uh... Reverse her forward. Rattle up. Are we backing or forwarding? <laughs> I suppose they would consider this backing, right? Which is why I did the triple horn blast. And we're going nowhere. Four. Whoa, easy. Easy, Cochise. Those are the good old days. Yeah, we're driving the train. Uh. 
that's about right. Train spotting. There's the marker lights above the A14. That little yellow light, that's the marker light. Those cars look really good. This whole thing looks good. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. I'm pretty much in love with this. <coughs> Even with the bugs and stuff, it's gorgeous. And I know I'll either figure out how to use the brakes or there's a fix coming. The locomotive brakes seem to work pretty well anyway, so. Those uh, switches are kind of tweet. <laughs> Having some issues with the engine. Just love it. And we moved into the yard. I feel like I'm making my own train sim videos. I feel like I'm out there in the real world with a video camera. Filming sweet trains doing cool things. Oh, I've turned my wipers on. Whoops. Does it control me? Figure out how to turn those off. Shift V? Maybe it's Shift V. Yeah, I think they got them. The sound is great too, man. And we need to get our on the back of the car cam going here. Oh, whoa. I pressed the shift key wrong. wrong. <laughs> Shortest guy in the world. That's a little better. Feels like we're riding on the car. This is the guy with the radio. Stop. Oh, stop. Stop. That's the dude go that goes flying when the engineer can't understand the radio signals. <laughs> That would suck, man.
So we ride our way down. So I would say for the next episode, we'll probably go take a ride um, on the clinch field. But I enjoyed this. This was fun. Hopefully you guys liked this video. We had some nice quiet parts where we just kind of watched the train go by. And enjoyed a little Arthur guitar jam. For a moment. With the hoppers now coupled, you can uncouple the locomotive from the train. Use the cut bar on the rear hopper to uncouple the hoppers from this locomotive. Okay, so back to the engine. And we're going to hop out of the seat. Climb down the stairs. Put the speakers in the windows and the door. Uh... Uh -huh. uh, that's number two for the day. All right. Good job. That is all of the tasks that have been assigned to you for now. Bring the locomotive back to the yard for use later in the day. <laughs> sure thing. Thank you for sh directing me here in America, <laughs> where people have English accents. I'm just kidding. Who knows? The guy could have come over from Europe as a... UK as a train driver. Up to speed, you. Whoosh, faster. 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 And we cruise back. How fast is that thing going? 15. Play a little break. <laughs> Trying to get the cinematic film footage here. Lower down. I don't know if I'm switched onto the right track. I never looked. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, God, we're stopping. Like, we're really stopping. No, don't put it in emergency. Oh, for crying out loud. Like a freaking ding dang was a freaking. For crap's sake. Oh, no, don't. It's going to go. Okay, we're going. Just stop. I need to see. We need to ride on the back of the other engine because we're like, uh, two. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, they've got the little guides to show us where we're supposed to stop. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good work. That concludes all of the basics. Really? Of operating this that was good work? <laughs> okay, good work. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun making it. Um, yeah, I think that this was uh, pretty sweet. I think this is going to be fun, and I'm looking forward to doing more of these uh, missions. I'll definitely bring you in on some of it. We'll, we'll do some more Train Sim World, too, as the summer goes on. Once again, my life is super busy, so I'm trying not to bring like any new series in. But with this new stuff, we need to do some of it. So 
uh, we'll do we'll definitely be running a couple more videos of the clinch field uh, and I'm super excited to have it like I said well I'll mess around with the um, the new system for the uh, services and see how that works and figure it out and come back and show you that too so anyway have a great night be sure to subscribe thumbs up always help and we'll see you next time on train sim world 2 the clinch field subdivision bye <laughs>